Question 12. Two decimal numbers add together to equal one whole. One of the numbers is 0 0.007. What is the other number? Well, there are two different ways you can think about this question. So the first way is to consider its place value. So if I write 0 0.007, this zero is units, then we've got tenths, then we've got hundredths, and the seven would be in the thousands column. So actually the seven means seven thousandths. Now remember that seven thousandths would be written like this in the fraction, seven over one thousand. Now to make a whole one, you would need a thousand thousandths. So you'd need a thousand thousandths to make a whole one, like that, one whole, okay? So what would you need to add on to seven thousandths? to get a thousand thousands. Well, it's going to be some extra amount of thousands because we're dealing with thousands. And if you take seven off of the thousand, you would get 993. Because seven plus 993 would make a thousand. So seven thousand plus 993 thousand make a thousand thousand, which is a whole one. So the question is 993 thousands. What is that as a decimal? And 993 thousands would be 0 0.993. In the same way that 7,000 is 0 0.007. Add those two together, you're going to get a whole one. So your answer is 0 0.993. The other way of doing it is to actually do a subtraction column method. So if we try and do 1, subtract 0 0.007, let's see what we get. So put your decimal points in first. Now remember 1 would be before the point and 0 0.007 would go like that with 0 0.07 after the point. But 1 is one whole one and because we've got all these gaps here you fill the gaps in with 0 so 1 would be the same as 1.000. Now if we subtract this let's see where we get. So 0 take away 7 you can't do. So you would have to borrow one. So you can't borrow from this zero. You can't borrow from this zero. So you've got to borrow from the one. So you cross out the one and that would become zero. And the one you borrowed, take the first zero here into 10. But that's no good because we still can't do naught take away seven. So we now need to borrow from the 10 and that becomes nine. And the one we borrowed makes the next zero into 10. That's still no good because we've still got zero here. We still can't do zero take away seven. Well, now we've got 10 again here, so cross out that 10, make it into a 9, and the one you borrowed makes the 0 on the end into 10. Now we can do it. So 10 take away 7 is 3, 9 take away 0 is 9, 9 take away 0 is 9, and 0 take away 0 is 0. So again, doing it a completely different way, we've got 0 0.993. So that's correct.